talk about Western New York Liberation Collective. One of the biggest bullshit fucking groups created in Buffalo, New York. Let me tell you why. I've been protesting and I've been doing, you know, working with a lot of activists and myself working in activism since I was 13, 14 years old, right? This is a Black Lives Matter group with white people running it. It doesn't make any sense. How can you be a Black Lives Matter group but all the leaders in that group are white, okay? That's a way of whitewashing. That's literally systematic oppression in a group itself. They're literally oppressing the people of color in the group to not become leaders and they just took everything over. I was told I was a nobody by white people in the group that were leaders um, and I was nobody and nothing of importance because I didn't have a fucking rubber wristband that they were giving out to leaders. There's been multiple cases of violence in that fucking group. That's one. There's been multiple cases of sexual harassment with people in that group. I was a victim as well. His name was Michael. They did nothing about that. But when a white girl had allegations towards a black man in that group, they had all the fuck the world was ending the world was ending but when it happens to a person of color it's a different story right always an excuse on why this person of color was not fit enough to be in a black lives matter group as a leader but a white person could all the donations and i'm a witness to this i saw it with my own fucking eyes 99.9% .9 of the donations from the community did not go back into the community for actual change. They were buying shrooms, they were buying drugs, they were buying alcohol, they were buying DJs to come out to the fucking square. All this fucking shit that did not benefit the places of high poverty with people of color. No one wants to listen to a person that is not of color speaking about things they've never experienced. I've had conversations with people that were allies about the situation and they blatantly agreed with me. They're like, yeah, that's literally what's going on. And you know, they couldn't overset their boundaries because these people have a tendency of being extremely violent. You sat there and you made Buffalo believe that you guys were so fucking pro black life and brown and all this fucking shit and you fucking weren't. You were fugazi as fuck. These are the most foo-foo ass motherfuckers I've ever seen in my motherfucking life. That whole camping trip that we had was funded with people's donations. Why aren't we using these funds that we're getting from the community, these donations that we're getting from the community, and knocking on fucking people's doors? in high fucking poverty places the west side and east side of buffalo and saying do what do you need and instead they were so busy high on fucking drugs and getting djs for the fucking square and all this shit they they had no end goal they didn't have one how dare you how fucking dare you you took people's money during a fucking pandemic and used it for drugs but you didn't think there's fucking kids that aren't going to school that maybe were depending on school lunches to put food in their fucking bellies and you couldn't spare ten dollars knocking on someone's door in the east side of buffalo to feed their kids they didn't care western new york liberation liberation collective only takes people's donations and monies for their own personal fucking gain and they're only doing this shit for clout that is it and i as a mixed woman am telling ever i'm black i told them i told marie yesterday i'm going to blast you guys you want to know why because i don't fucking think it's okay and i don't think the way you treated the people of color in the group that were trying to help you were okay i don't think the way you treat other groups where leaders are are people of color and you treat them like fucking shit i am tired of it my life is not a fucking trend bitch New York Liberation Collective is a fucking joke. I can't tell you how many times Joey told me to shut the fuck up. Who are you talking to? Because of what I remember, this is Black Lives Matter, sir, and you ain't got enough fucking melanin in your skin to tell me to shut the fuck up, sir.